Dave, I keep watching these rain chances, hoping they just <laughs> evaporate. Yeah, I, they do for this week, but as we head to next week, that's going to be a little bit different, but we could probably use a little rain. This is the wettest month of the year for us traditionally hmm. anyway, but not living up to it here in 2021 so far. Right now, if you're heading out to the festival there or anywhere else, the weather is pretty good out there today. We are looking at a few high clouds coming in, 55 degrees right now. Live look here at 280 in Grandview. Uh, you can see traffic looks good on anyone. Or, and, geez, I'm putting everyone together here. Uh, Hattie we will have more of an update on that in just a bit. We have some of those calm winds this morning. It's 48 Alabaster, 56 Tuscaloosa to Fayette. Hamilton, you're at 55, 53 Coleman. Look at the 40s off to the east. 40, now 44 Gaston back to Asheville area. Talladega about 45, even Alabaster at 48 degrees now. Down in Montgomery in the 40s at 49, but over in Atlanta, 53, 57 up in Huntsville. How about Nashville, Memphis area back to Jackson to Shreveport all in the 60s as we start the day today with that cloud cover coming on in. And that's helping to keep temperatures up just a little bit there. We'll see these clouds from time to time throughout the day today too. So kind of making it partly cloudy this morning to maybe even mostly cloudy at times, but we'll see more sunshine developing as the afternoon progresses. Now temperatures go from the 40s and 50s to the 60s by 10 o'clock, 75 at lunchtime. And how about the upper 70s to right around 80 degrees for high temperature this afternoon? How about 80 Alabaster, 81 degrees for you over in the Tuscaloosa area? 79 here, Jasper coming in around 80 out there and about 80 for you over in Anniston. Nice, unseasonably warm temperatures for us. Of course, everything's blooming because of that. And looking at your pollen forecast, you can see the numbers really climbing to very high. Category only goes to 12, and we're at 11 Saturday, Sunday, and Monday before the rain comes in. So if you allergy sufferers, which includes me, I uh, definitely want to grab those allergy meds uh, before you head out and about this weekend. Now, looking at water vapor moisture loft shows the stream of moisture coming in from the Pacific right over us. That'll help to bring us those clouds across the area here. Big storm system out west. This is what's called a trough when it dives down this big here in the jet stream or river winds aloft with the airplane fly. Big spin here. This low is going to be responsible for significant snow. We're talking three, four, five feet of snow across part of the Rocky Mountain states. It will get here, but not till Monday. No snow for us, though, but we are going to see some wetter weather coming into play by then as well. So today you'll see those temperatures warming up to the mid 70s by lunchtime today and into the upper 70s to around 80 degrees this afternoon. So looking very nice out there with those southerly winds around five to 10 miles per hour. Heading on into tonight, looking at temperatures in the 50s and 60s, 40s and 50s tomorrow morning. Very similar to today day with some of those clouds building on in. We'll have the sunshine coming out more so Friday. We'll be in the lower 80s out there. And as we head on into Saturday morning, we'll start off with a few clouds in the 50s. Most of the rain stays up near the Tennessee Alabama line. Heading on into Sunday, you'll see here a few clouds come in, but still a fairly dry day before that rain with that system out west finally gets here as we head into Monday of next week. So 79, how about 80s all the way through Sunday? Don't forget the daylight saving time time change there. Saturday night clocks go ahead one hour and there's the stormy weather Monday, Tuesday and into Wednesday. Temperatures not too much colder into the 70s, but definitely wetter weather returns next week. Addie. Thanks, Dave. This beautiful weekend.